just pretend that this is a sliding chair intro because for some reason you guys seem to enjoy that for some reason. Now I'm being interrupted by a Subaru or a Honda or something. Anyway, uh, we're going to try something a little different today. Uh, I got a new car recently. It's not foreign. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> for the ice cream man to go by now. If he even goes by, he might just park there and do nothing for a while. Anyway, this is a 1983 Oldsmobile Delta 88 Royale Broham. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, get this back on the road. Um, and if you're expecting a vice grip style uh, or junkyard digs style uh, resurrection, you came to the wrong place. I cheated a little bit because it already runs uh, and it drives uh, and it stops like the brakes are good uh, it's you know it just needs like a tuna and some things uh, so we're going to do a walkthrough and see if we can't figure out all the bits it needs I like to start in the front because this is the most important part in my opinion uh, so this is the 307 V8 um, it's a it's a Y block, I think is what they called it, or the digit in the VIN is a Y. That means this engine is something special. I don't know. Um, there were there were two different style uh, 307s uh, that came in these um, that were dictated by uh, the digit uh, in the VIN that was either Y or I believe nine. And I think the nine was actually a Chevy 307, and Y was uh, the actual Oldsmobile. Um, it came from the factory with a four barrel on it, four barrel quadrajet. Um, it definitely runs like it has a vacuum leak or sometimes, or, or sub, uh, a vacuum leak of some kind. So I'll have to sort that out. There's also, you know, some electrical stuff going on, but um, for the most part, everything is here. It's not, it's not too bad. Um, you know, I've got to make sure all the gauges and whatnot work. Um, the other thing that's actually pretty impressive is how straight the body is. This is like the only dent that I can find on the body. Um, so we're going to have uh, our buddy Jeff at Ideal Grain um, detail this up and try to clean it. The roof, uh, the vinyl roof looks like a nutsack, unfortunately. It's gross. Um, you know, when all the rubbers are gone and whatnot, but it looks like the paint will clean up pretty good. Um, let's have a look at the interior. Mousage. God, I wish you could smell this. Um, steering wheels all kinds of like cracked and whatnot, but it's not too bad. The seats are actually in really good shape, minus this here. Uh, headliner is gone. Oh, the interior light works, that's nice. You know, the back seat's in really good shape too. A couple of parts here and there. Some stuff. Is that another dead mouse? Just a fuzz. I think it's just a fuzz. Pioneer Radio. So the story that I got from the uh, from the previous owner was that he bought it from a kid who had bought it from his grandparents, who were the original owners. And the kid thought that it was just like the coolest thing ever. He put a big old bump in stereo in it to drive it around, you know, and uh, I guess his friends made fun of him a lot for having an old man car, and he couldn't take it anymore, so he sold it. Um, and this guy that I got it from drove it up from Maryland in 2019 and had no issues with it. Look at all that scum. Ugh. I think Jeff's going to do a good job cleaning this up. Um, anyway, if there were anything in the trunk, I'd show you, but there isn't. It's just really big. Uh, let's uh, let's have a look at uh, underneath that air cleaner and see if we can't figure out if there's any vacuum leaks going on. That's a little bit more. Right. That 
guy, and that goes back somewhere, and this comes up over here. God, there's so many vacuum lines. Oh. What's all this then? Another vacuum, I wonder. Engage. Hold, I wonder what this is. Is this for. Oh, this must be cruise control? Maybe? Because I think this is the cable or something. I wonder if that's cruise control, which makes sense because it goes back to this diaphragm, which is hooked up to the throttle linkage. That's interesting. Okay. A couple wires that have been done. I don't know what this is. Because um, that guy's like rotted closed or something. Might be an EGR of some kind. I'm going to around to the other side here. All the shit. Uh, I'm going to vacuum this out and then probably maybe go to the store and try to get some, uh, some vacuum lines. And then maybe we can spend some more time on this tomorrow trying to replace all these and get it running. I would like to do plugs on it, but goddamn, trying to get to them on this side. I don't want to have to pull all this crap out of here. It's going to need some belts too, because those are squealing pretty bad. Yep. Okay. Let me do them things and uh, we'll probably get back in here tomorrow. All right. I got some caps on it. I'm going to see if it runs any better. Uh, I'd also really love to figure out uh, which one of these pulleys is making all that awful noise. Get a, uh, a listening stick here. Although I'm sure it'll be apparent which one is which. Okay, here we go. Well, it starts up immediately now and at least idles. Oh, good God. Sounds like it might be the alternator. I wonder if I can't spray some uh, TV down there and make that noise go away. Nope. Also, be pretty cool if I could get the windows to go down. That's one. Ah, oh, shit. Right. Driver's window came out of the track. Ugh. All right, well, this is going to get stored inside tonight. All right. Not really much more I can do uh, with this today. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, my buddy Jeff from Ideal Grain is going to start cleaning this. Great. Uh, so... We'll uh, 
uh, get you back in here when he starts doing that and watch it to transform. So I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, this thing is so disgusting that I have not wanted to work on it at all. So luckily, Jeff is going to uh, start cleaning this today because he knows how to do that and I don't. Um, so we're going to follow him around a little bit while he uh, gets all the scones and disgust off of this. Uh, and then maybe uh, try to get the windows to work better because this one falls out a whole bunch. Um, and the two on the other side don't, uh, don't like coming down consistently. So let's, uh, let's see how pretty we can make this turd. What'd you say you were spraying on it? It's just degreaser. Um, just kind of like a orange degreaser or a citrus degreaser. Um, I probably wouldn't use Goo Gone, but it's similar to that. And I have it diluted about one to six with just plain old water. The one I'm using is 3D brand. If you just search 3D orange degreaser, there's plenty of brands you can buy. The Zep stuff at Home Depot, it all works the same. So much stuff all over this car. Is it bubble time? bubble time? Is it sexy bubble time? Oh sexy. God, it's turning purple for sexy bubble time. Sexy bubble time. <laughs>
out so good. The interior cleaned up so nicely. Still got some to do. But like all the carpets are in great shape, the dash is in great shape, the seats are in great shape. Like it's all really, really nice. It's actually like tolerable to be in here now. It's so good. He's gonna polish the paint up tomorrow. And I think he said clean the plastics as well. So, and then, you know, maybe I can actually make it run good or something. Or something. Or something. Yeah, I think we're gonna hit on the dash stuff, interior plastics, hard stuff, vinyl, and make that look shiny tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, today was just about making it safe and not stinky. Right, yeah. Because like I said, I, I haven't wanted to touch it because it's so gross. Or it was. There's still some grossness. Yeah, but it's not as bad. It's tolerable it's, grossness. It's charming grossness. <laughs> Good. Well, what a Oh, that's good. choice for a flip, Tyler. <laughs> right? Listen, I still need a lot of shit, okay? Yeah, like a junkyard. Oh the my god. The good news is, it's already in a scrapyard, so we don't have to take it to a scrapyard. <laughs> this is Tyler's one. Yeah, I'm waiting for all the belts to explode. Yeah, keeping on the ultimate light. But it's cushy back here. Ooh, was that the rear wheel or the belts? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the rear wheel. But it goes. Yeah, it skirts and it has a little peg leg action. Man, this is like lack of luxury. Yeah. Fishy, I didn't touch the last one. Rambler. Rambler? Yeah. Oh, so, I didn't I didn't notice the absence of headliner. Yeah, don't touch that. Yeah, no. it will come off. Yeah. The <laughs> second you I really wish I knew how to do a burnout so that I could do a burnout. You just stand on both pedals at the same time. Is that how it's done? Pretty much. Don't do it. Why? Because you'll kill it. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not this. Yeah. Small children. Small children. Oh yeah, it just straddles the speed bump. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, with all the with the doors closed and it moving, the pulleys aren't that loud. This thing is oh boy. I realized I was holding my phone up and it was not recording this. That's quite a turning circle. Wow, yeah, that's a massive boat. Oh, there's the piss smell. You getting that? Yeah, it's coming back a little yeah. through the vents. There's work to be done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that is strong. Yeah, so are you going to... It sounds bad over here, but... What are you going to flip it for? Uh, Don't hit the bird. Don't hit the dart. Maybe not the bongo. I'm going to avoid that soon. Yeah, one of these things is not like the Now other. that I've blown it out, at least it's idling. That like made it around the block without dying. Yeah. It was happy. It just needed to be washed. Right. <laughs> That's what happens. Does the driver go on? Does the AC work? Out? I mean, it works. It's just not on the track because I haven't taken uh, the card off yet. Does the what? AC work. Uh, no. I'm not going to try. I don't want all that piss to come out. I, God damn it, I want to do it right now. So oh, right. God, this smells. Ah. Oh, it's getting worse. You trust the front brakes to ah. hold the thing while it's doing yeah. the burn. Now these air can just get a wheel chalk and it'll be fine. These air fresheners are not the end job. Well, it's <laughs> kind of it for this episode. It's as clean as it's going to get for now. So uh, I've got to figure out where all that awful squealing is coming from. Uh, so until then, 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. And who knows what that will be.